Good morning guys, how are you all doing? So I'm currently on my way to the office. It's just gone quarter past six, so let's get cracking. Good morning, so I'm in the office now. I'm gonna give you a walkthrough in terms of what I usually get up to within my morning routine. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Secret sources, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Right, so what you just watched me do is planning the day ahead by analyzing the daily narrative. So what I do is I'll go on the pairs that I trade. So we've got DXY, which I use for inverse correlation of Euro dollar and positive correlation of dollar Swiss. Then we got JPY basket and pound yen. So what I'll do is I'll go through all them, analyze the pairs, and then I basically annotate the charts from a daily and hourly perspective, just so that I know what I'm looking for, and then I post this to Envision as well, and then all the pro members know exactly what I'm looking for, what I expect to happen that day, and then we can position ourselves for potential trades in the market. So for example, this was, this was dollar Swiss yesterday. So looking for potential buys, and then overall there wasn't really that much happening yesterday, but I was expecting the sweep of these lows for then the price to continue higher. It's exactly what happens if we just go to dollar Swiss you can see this was yesterday's PA we came back down to sweep Asia initiated higher prices and then we're just correcting sideways prior to NFP later today so overall that's the process but I'm going to take you through what I do right now with the markups in terms of the back end of Envision so let's take a look at that now Right, so we're gonna post this now. Boom. So just keeping everyone up to date with what I'm looking at for the day. And we have NFP later today, so it's a non-trading day for myself. So overall, just obviously stating that, the reasons why, all of them know why anyway, they're not gonna be trading today, they're very smart individuals. But overall, just preparing everyone for the day ahead and what we can expect to happen. So markup's done now. So as far as music, when it comes to trying to focus, I usually use this platform called Brain FM. Been using this for about four years now. Absolutely incredible. And I do like this track here. It's called this one. So if you guys want to check it out, it's yeah, just a good focus playlist to get you in the zone. And if I'm not doing this, then sometimes I'll switch it up and put a YouTube video on that has like a focus playlist or could be singing birds or like a crackling fire or some rain whatever it may be whatever i'm feeling on that day just to kind of like shape me up into a bit of flow so that is what i tend to do something that i do every morning after i've done my markups and put them in vision is just do a little mental check-in with myself as well so i keep track of all the markups that i obviously take so if we take a look at this we've got the news for the day then we've got obviously the screenshots. So from a daily time frame perspective and one hour on all three pairs that I trade. So Euro dollar, dollar Swiss and pound yen. And then last but not least, we've got a little morning forecast. So anything that I expect to happen 
for the day ahead. Now, normally this would be a lot more detailed, but today, straight to the point, I'm not taking any trades, so it's NFP day. So I won't be trading for obvious reasons. I'm not getting involved in that bloodbath. So it's just short and sweet, short and sweet, but usually I'd, I'd put analysis for Euro dollar, dollar Swiss and pound yen in here. Little mental game check-in. So here I put, I feel good, definitely ready for the day ahead despite not sleeping as well last night. So last night I kept waking up a few times, so it's just life in it. But overall, still feel fresh and ready to continue getting better, ready for the day ahead basically. And then I put, are there any external pressures that I should be aware of? I'm just being honest with myself here. There's always gonna be pressures, but nothing at the forefront of my mind that's currently bothering me. I feel in flow, therefore no pressure is affecting me right now. And then last but not least, what do I need to remind myself of to enter the day with the optimal mindset? I've just put here non-training day, so go to work on other things and make sure you're being productive. So that's the key for today. So short and sweet, but doing this daily just keeps the discipline high, keeps you accountable to doing what you say you're gonna do. And overall, it just tracks that progression in time as well, because you can look back on this, see how far you progressed. And overall, it's a good, uh, good measuring stick on your progression. So definitely recommend it if you don't already do this. I know you all love to see a little breakdown of the market. So I'm going to walk you through quickly what I'm looking for for the day. Even though it's NFP, I'm not trading, but let's take a look at the markets prior to NFP. So Euro dollar, what am I looking at? Overall, if we break this down from a daily point of view, we can see that price has just been in this corrective pullback for a long time now. Now, based on this, for me, I come from a pattern pattern based background. So this is a completion of a pattern in the respect that we have one, two, three, we have three sections. Overall, we may still push to the upside short term to form a bigger daily pullback, but the narrative of lower prices still is intact. For me, whether we break that high or not is not really relevant. It's more about the fact that I'm still looking for predominantly bearish prices. So that still stands. A uh, four hour chart, if we take a look at this, we can see that we've got order flow, which is bullish. So price is making higher highs and higher lows, which is why we've seen this previous low be protected here. Price was swept, clear intent to the upside. We've just paused. So the fact we've paused here, and we have sold off, but I think this is just trapping early sellers. And personally for me, this is just uh, creating liquidity above. So the fact that this is doing this prior to NFP it always tends to happen where liquidity is engineered prior to something like NFP or unemployment claims, PMI, whatever it may be. But overall, we may see lower prices, but I'm not interested in trading this at all. Basically, I want to see what happens after NFP to basically make a complete narrative going into next week. But we've seen a reaction here. We've come down, swept the low, clear intent, pause in price here anticipating this actually gets broken whether that's today or in some point in the near future and anticipating these two highs to the left getting taken and then this high above here is still deemed to be weak until proved otherwise so looking for this to be taken so that's euro dollar let's take a look at dollar swiss so dollar swiss from a daily point of view looks very very clean in the respect that we've had this big corrective push up, dollar Swiss is corrective in nature, but then we've had that clear initiation higher, higher high, pull back in price, liquidates the low to the left, clear impulse higher. And then currently we are in the process of this pulling back phase. Now we did show good signs on Thursday because we did react from this area and start to push higher. So if anything, this is just showing continuation of bullish pricing four hour chart, order flow, still very much bullish, price forming higher highs, higher lows. So we did have this aggressive sell off, but the low to the left was still protected. So this is really interesting. But overall, despite NFP, it really depends what happens after NFP, but overall still mainly long biased on this until proven otherwise. So until price really takes out this low, or let's say takes out this high and then starts breaking lower, I'm still looking for longs. Um, this is shaping up in the respect of potential temporary shorts. We've got liquidity here. We could even see a, a tap into this area. This would be a great long area should the opportunity come, but I'm not, I wouldn't be taking that prior to NFP or NFP day. And then pound yen. Pound yen, my little baby. 
So Pound Yen from a daily structure point of view is looking cleaner than ever in the respect that we've come down, liquidated this low to the left, tapped into this point of interest, and we've then initiated higher prices, internal shift in market structure, corrected pullback. Now with this pullback, we would just engineered sell side and buy side. So sell side was taken first here, then buy side was taken here. Aggressive push up. Now Pound Yen is interesting because when we do get this aggressive push, you've seen from previous price as well, like here, 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 we tend to sell off quite aggressively. So we sold off coming into Wednesday, Thursday, and then overall, I'm still predominantly looking for bullish pricing. So I know short term, there's a couple things that could play out. So in the respect that we've swept the low, this could just be that reaccumulation for higher prices, very well aware of that, but we could, as per pound your nature, start to come into, let's say the extreme ends of these moves. So these kind of areas, and then we could start pushing lower and overall that does equate to what pound yen does quite regularly. So if we do pop up here, I will be monitoring the nature of price coming into early next week and basically formulate, formulate a narrative going forward on that as well. But overall, I know a lot of people would say this is messy, but it's very readable and this just looking for continuation of higher prices now there is a chance we do pop lower but overall so far looking for continuation of bullish intent so that's pretty much the narrative on the markets coming into the, into today i've got a call with the pro members um this afternoon so that should be good so that's going to be post nfp just to talk about the development of nfp any questions anyone's got just have a con conversation as well and get to know people on a deeper level so looking forward to that and yeah that is pretty much it that's the morning routine wrapped up yeah right that is a wrap up on my morning routine as you can see it's very simple there's just a few fundamentals that i've kept in place for like many years now and i'm talking three four years so that's in the form of waking up early so getting a good start on the day the second thing is most people do check the phone when they wake up probably even do it yourself, right? So if you are doing that, just understand that you see notifications early in the day, checking Instagram, checking YouTube, checking whatever it may be. If you can help it, don't check it. Unless you really need to, I would say don't check it because it's just triggering a stress response early into the day that you don't need. So if you can kind of wake up, don't check your phone. The only thing I check personally is Discord just to make sure everything's still in place and just to say good morning to the pro members but apart from that i don't touch anything the third thing is i've always kind of had something to basically approach the markets in a calm state of mind before i even get in it so for me you'll see you'll notice the clip where i was in front of the red light therapy just doing basically a bit of a meditation session it's like breathing less of a meditation now it's more so sort of breathing i'm focused on deep diaphragmic breathing is what i'm currently doing right now and um, just following on from the detox so currently focus on that but red light therapy for me just if i'm not already awake it wakes me up because it basically lights up all your cells especially in winter when it's very dark it almost makes you feel like you've had sun so coming into the day i'm not tired at all i feel awake i feel focused i feel fresh for me that's getting a good start on the day and then apart from that just in terms of the markets just showing up doing your analysis on time making sure you're there prior to London Open, knowing what you're looking for, sticking to your word, posting markups in Discord for the members, and then doing just my own little check-in on the day. How do I feel? Is there any pressures that I need to be aware of? These kind of things are all are just helping me set me up for the day. And then last but not least is, like I've done this for years. The amount of journals I've got at home, unreal. But like daily goals, something I've been doing since the, since the Falcon days really, so you know, five five to ten daily goals it depends on the day really if i'm being honest and then a little bit of a gratitude list and then pretty much that's it so anything that i've got to get done for the day mark that down and it just almost becomes a challenge just to tick off everything it always has done and i think that's just you moving the needle forward to where you want to be so if you've got a longer term goal break it down and if you break it down into daily actionable actionable steps then you are making progress regardless of how you feel that day or what's going on. 
So that for me is just keeping me in check because when you become a full-time trader or when you work for yourself, you've got to be accountable to yourself. You don't have a boss saying, oh, Michael, I need you to do this. Can you do that for me? You don't have that. You need to be your own boss. So in that case, you need to keep yourself accountable. You need to keep yourself on track. It'd be so easy for me to slack and just show up and just not feel good and just not really do anything. I'm not about that. I've got goals to, to hit. I've got things to achieve. So with that in mind, I've got to be my own person. I've got to be my own boss. Show up, do the work, get it done. At the end of the day, you go to bed feeling satisfied. So that's what it's all about. So in a nutshell, that is my morning routine. As you can see, it's very simple, straight to the point, but yet there's a few fundamentals in place that kept me improving from the three, four years that I've been doing this for and still keep me improving on a day by day basis. So overall, that's pretty much it. Hope you've all enjoyed this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good weekend. Make sure you recharge, you refresh, but keep on top of work, etc. And then have a great week in the markets next week. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Peace out.